Hello my YouTube fans. First, uh, let's get that up. You remember uh, my first solar projection video. I showed you a couple of these photos. Um, since I've done that, I've been trying to make a new projection screen. Um, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, uh, originally hoping to see some more astronomy videos, which I had in the description of my channel wrote something to the effect of this channel is about science and chess and all that and astronomy and uh, it seems that my uh, astronomy slash uh, telescope videos are far between and very few in fact so few is only one so I've been making an attempt so this one my one of my my first actual attempt was to show you that I was using the telescope to project the Sun and I showed you I had that board out there uh, I want to flip through these and I told you I didn't use the star diagonal I went straight through um, which this video shows the telescope without the diagonal on it and um, I got some really cool images of the Sun but as you can see the um, the <laughs> the the um, the projection screen is a piece of wood about 22 by 22 I think and uh, it's sitting underneath of the uh, folding table to try and shadow it with the lack of something to shield it I was hoping that I can build myself something with only a few dollars that I had in my pocket because I'm quite broke lately uh, to build a screen that I can use to do a better job at this in addition the poster board that I have taped to this piece of wood that's also painted white uh, is only 14 by 22 um, so I and when I realized that the image of this was so huge and it's beautiful I mean it's it's it really is uh, uh, it would be really nice if I can get this in a darkened area and get this image you know images like this in the future with uh, more sunspots coming for you for your enjoyment so uh, these are, of course are the first some of the first pictures I showed you and again you can see as I zoom in you can see the 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 background here is a piece of wood that was painted white but I have a poster board over it so I decided to um, visit my local Walmart and buy a couple of things art supplies and I also repurposed some things I have lying around the house um, so what you're seeing there is the almost finished product uh, you can see the full-size uh, um, poster board on the glue to the back of this it's uh, 22 by 28 which is exactly twice the size the uh, the size that's on my original photographs is literally this board cut in half um, horizontally as you can see here okay so this it, this piece of paper is literally half the size if you were to put two of these side by side you would get this full length here okay so I went out and bought four pieces of poster board two white and two black I used both blacks and this one white I still have one white one left okay um, this image was supposed to come up later but um, this is of course not mine um, I was gonna I was gonna tell you about the I was copying or trying to do what this person did with his transit Venus uh, transit photograph and he has inside this black box um, you know painted black I suppose but as you can see it's a lot shorter than what I've got here so here's the here's uh, the whole thing in a nutshell this is obviously 30 this is obviously much taller um, there's a problem with this though <clears throat> I live near not too far from the ocean and there is a constant breeze it took me um, almost like the three stooges you know goofing around it took me a few tries to get this thing to stand up long enough for me to take this picture so we're gonna be working on that this is essentially this sort of finished product so you know the green felt there is repurposed um, it came from uh, it came from a poker game the uh, the, the, the Texas Hold'em comes in a can and it comes with this big sheet of uh, green felt which actually this is a part of it because it's, it's been cut uh, so I repurposed that because I don't play the game anyway okay 
So there's uh, essentially what my idea was. I moved it towards the, uh, as you can see, my barbecue stuff is in the background. I, I moved it out of the wind so that I can stand it up long enough to take the photograph of the semi-complete project. So this is what I did. There's the felt, and this is this is on the bottom is a piece is the piece of wood that I originally used as the screen uh, for for the other photographs that you saw. So I'm going to try and repurpose that as well. So this is what I did. I went out to Walmart and bought um, two large poster board black and two large whites. I have a bunch of clipboards lying around. I have these pieces of wood that I used for something else from years ago. You can see the clipboard is clipped to the sides. And there's the clipboards. Uh, if you're wondering what these numbers and these letters are, um, these pieces of wood I had used a few years back to as, an, as a teaching aid to teach kids how to play chess. Uh, that's neither here nor there. It's the wood that's important. I use these strips of wood so that I can clip the clipboards to the side of the cardboard without damaging it. It also adds weight, trying to uh, uh, combat the uh, breeze wind problem. See, down where I live here, um, you can go by a kite and uh, tie it to the string and literally uh, just hold it up and uh, let it go and it, it'll just go right up in the air because the steady ocean breeze around here just takes it right up. So that was a problem, especially with a tall uh, projection screen like this. So in any case, Yes, a uh, little free advertising for Elmer's here. This is the tri-fold um, display board that they sell. Uh, I bought the big one. I bought the three foot tall, 36 inches tall. There you can see the measurements there. Play this in high definition, you'll be able to see the measurements. Okay. All right. So uh, I bought that, the poster board. And uh, basically that's how it kind of looks standing up. I happen to have some blackish sort of spray paint laying around the house. I decided to spray the inside black uh, because two pieces of poster board weren't enough to cover the entire inside. So I decided to do something a little bit different. So the whole idea was to make a better screen. See this is that, so I'm going to go back to this photograph because I wanted to explain how I had to literally put this underneath the table to get to get, to get the shadow. But to my surprise, the the image was so beautiful, uh, even in the even in the somewhat glaring sunlight. And and this image, uh, if you were to take a ruler to it, it's about I think between 17 and 18, maybe even as much as 19 inches in diameter. And that's a beautiful image of the sun. Now, if I can get that in the darkened, um, you know, uh, area like this, that would be beautiful. So the idea. See, this, this gentleman, of course, probably knew the problem of, of open area breezes. That's why his box is so short. But you can see uh, in his image, um, even he has a problem. You can see this, this line here. If you could follow this mouse, this is actually the sun shining on his image. Although, uh, I have to admit, this is still good. Uh, um, I really like his uh, stuff. It's a little bit blurry, but uh, whoever this is, I, that's pretty cool. So I tried to do something like he did. Uh, I didn't take any pictures yet with it because I couldn't get the thing to stand up long enough underneath the breeze to set up the telescope. And I'll, uh, I'll wait for my clock to finish chiming 9 p.m. Okay. So the idea of the, the clipboards and the strips of wood, as you can see, these are clipped with the wood on the side. Uh, is to literally put weight on the sides to hold it down from falling. It was a good idea. It almost worked, but the breeze was a little stronger than I anticipated. So I intend to, to do something about that. Uh, and also, uh, here's a better uh, um, reference to it. Also, if I have to tilt it back, because you know, of the angle of the telescope, if I decide to go straight through, like I did last time, the, the angle of the screen has to be tilted back to the angle of the telescope so that it's it's not a skewed image. Uh, so in order to tilt it back, I can literally take these clipboards and, and slide the the uh, um, um, clip up, you know, the, the board up, the uh, display thing up, and use the clipboards as the feet. And I can literally angle it that way. Unfortunately, it's not heavy enough to hold it on against the wind. So what I might do is I might take these slits of wood and put them 
this way. In other words, uh, let them stick out towards the f like where this mouse is here so that I can put weight on them that way and it'll hold it up. The other thing I can do is, of course, um, use the, um, I can use the, uh, as you can see here, I have um, my barbecue grills and stuff like that in the background there. I can literally put a, a, a barbecue grill or a garbage can or something behind the whole screen in order to, uh, in order to stop it from falling back against the breeze. But in any case, if I can get it within the shadow of the house and if I can get this set up so that I can project this into, uh, into the screen, you can see that this is a darkened area. It's not completely dark, of course, but it is a darkened area where the image, this, this piece of paper is 22 inches wide, so it'll take in an entire image of the sun that's, that's more than 18 inches in diameter. Uh, in order to do that also, um, um, I'm also uh, going to use, I'm going to try using the the uh, star diagonal that I didn't use the last time. Somewhere around here, there it is. If I were to use this, I can get a vertical image without having to angle the, the, the display board. So I'll keep you posted. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I'll keep you posted on how I'm doing. And... Um, I hope to start making more of these, and and I would I know the summer is almost over, and you know I'm a chicken when it comes to cold weather, and I may not be able to do these as as well as I did in the summertime, but uh, I'm gonna keep trying, um, as well as I'm hoping that the clouds uh, um, cooperate because uh, every day so far, while the sun is actually shining, it seems like it's a conspiracy because I go out there with the telescope and. Uh, that's when the clouds decide to cover the sun and I can't use the projector. So, there you have it. And in the words of Tony Darnell, keep looking up. And in my words, please subscribe. Um, I hope to, I hope to uh, provide some really cool so solar projection videos for you in the near future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and keep looking up.